everybody. Welcome to the Snow West Show. I'm Ryan Harris, your host. Uh, today we are talking about the 2025 Polarises that just dropped. So we've got all the changes to the 2025 Chaos RMK, Pro RMK. We've got the new RMK SP. Might get into a little bit of the uh, the crossovers and the trail sleds and utilities, and as well as timber sled. But we're really going to focus on the RMK models here, as you know, we're, we're Snow West, and we kind of focus on the the mountain deep snow segment. Uh, before we jump into this real quick, um, the Snow West Show is brought to you by Polaris Snowmobiles. Uh, the RMKs are engineered for instant lift, effortless control, and immediate response. Check out the 850 RMK now in stock at your local Polaris dealer. Go to Polaris.com to learn more. We're also brought to you by 320 Ranch, 320 Guest Ranch up in uh, Big Sky, Montana. Uh, they have single cabin units. They have large cabin units full with uh, kitchens and everything available for your riding group. Uh, lots of great riding areas up there, Carrot Basin, Buck Ridge. Go to uh, 320ranch.com and check out 320 Guest Ranch. All right, on to this show. For 2025, Polaris uh, has really slimmed down, I guess, the offerings that you can get. Um, the mountain lineup is a lot uh, a lot less expansive. Uh, you know, you remember two or two, let's see, shoot, were three years ago? 2022, when 22 came out, the Matrix platform came out, you had... Uh, Matrix slash RMK Chaos Pro Boost Nine R. I mean, you just had you had a, a longer name than you could fit on the wrap. Uh, so for 2025, because partly because of uh, you know COVID production issues, partly because of demand, partly because of snow, uh, the mountain lineup has slimmed down quite significantly. It's a lot more simple. It's a lot easier to figure out. Uh, it's a lot easier to go through the snow check process and figure out what you want. Uh, basically, you can snow check a Pro RMK or a Chaos RMK, and anything that you snow check comes in the Matrix Slash chassis. So the Matrix Slash is the short tunnel, short cooler, no snow flap, tapered tunnel. Uh, so if you're going to snow check something, you can snow check a Pro RMK, and you can get that with an 850, a 9R, or Patriot Boost, you can uh, get the Pro RMK in just two track lengths, 155 or 165, and you can get the Pro RMK in the two different track lug heights, 325 or 275, so 3.25 inch track lugs or 2.75 inch track lugs. Uh, and if you go to the Chaos, then you can uh, you can snow check a Chaos. You can get the 850 Patriot engine. You can get the 9R Patriot engine. You can also get Patriot Boost in the Chaos. So same engine platforms available in Chaos and Pro RMK. But Chaos offers uh, the ability to get a 146 track, a 155, or a 165. If you get the 146 track, you have two track options available. You have a, a two-inch crossover track, which is a, a better suited for trails if you're looking at the if you're looking at a Chaos 146 and you're, you you want to go mountain riding with it, I, I wouldn't get the uh, the two inch crossover track. That's that's better for the you know the guys that are really hammering trails and going fast. I would get the, in the 146 configuration that the 2.6 inch track. It's a lightweight track. It's a mountain track. So if you're going to get a 9R uh, 146, uh, you're going to want to go with the Series 6 2 uh, 2.6 track. And you can also get the the Chaos in 155 or 165 in the Series 8 275 track or the Series 9 325 track. So the 2.75 inch lug or the 3.25 inch lug. Uh, that is your, that's what you can get in snow check. Now, if you don't snow check, uh, everybody knows you can, if you snow check, you get to customize and you get a few incentives uh, to pre order. If you don't snow check and you wait until this fall, yeah, you might be able to buy into somebody else's snow check that they canceled or backed out of but polaris is also offering a little different package on in-season models so for 25 this fall in season there will be uh, an 850 pro rmk and a 850 chaos rmk uh, these are in the matrix slash short tunnel short cooler taper tunnel platform and uh, now there's also another new model called the RMK, RMK SP. The RMK SP replaces the base model RMK from previous. This is the long tunnel, uh, full snow flap, um, longer cooler. Uh, this is designed for, you know, 
entry level, easy to ride, uh, less expensive. Just just the RMK SP is kind of that base model. Uh, and as far as the in season models go for the RMK and Pro and the RMK Chaos, uh, you can only get those in seasons with the 850 engine in the Pro RMK in a 155 or 65 track length in those two tracks, the 275 or the 325 track. The Chaos RMK in season model you can only get in the 850 engine. 146 with two track options, 155 with two track options, or 165 with two track options. Uh, so let's uh, let's jump into the changes. What's new on on Polaris for 2025? What did they change? Uh, well, they they removed uh, they they changed a few things that resulted in a seven pound weight reduction on on the Pro RMK and the Chaos RMK. Uh, so let's start with the, the seat. So there's a new seat on, uh, just on 9R and, and Patriot Boost Pro and Chaos. The Pro Light seat is an inch lower and it's about a pound lighter. So that was an easy way to literally shave off an inch of foam and shave off a pound. So the lightweight seat, the Pro Light seat, uh, it saves a little weight there. Uh, next thing that they did for 2025, there's a new... RMK throttle system. Now this this new throttle system, everybody's been kind of expecting and anticipating the change here. Uh, this is a really cool setup. We we saw it early on uh, some of the factory hill climb race sleds. Uh, couldn't really show anything there because it wasn't released, even though the guys were out racing it. Um, it, it was there, but nobody could really access it. We couldn't really show anything on it. But we've ridden it since uh, the the new RMK throttle system. Uh, it's it's man it's a better feel overall the lever shape and everything the throttle lever shape uh, is similar it's pretty much the same you're not going to uh, feel a difference on the shape but the way the throttle feels and pulls the new cable uh, the new pivot and everything uh, it's it's a better feeling throttle system and it's more open it's more of a skeletal design so that there's there's no there's no corners so anywhere that the as the throttle lever closes against the throttle block there aren't any corners to where it can pack snow in and create ice and create buildup uh, so it, it really evacuates any kind of snow if you get stuck and roll the sled over into the snow flip it back over uh, there's not a whole lot of snow that's going to stick to it and, and collect and uh, build up in there uh, that didn't really, that's not part of the weight savings reduction, but that is across all RMKs. Everything, all RMKs got this new throttle system. Uh, something that did take a, a chunk of weight off, though, is the, let me jump over to this, the uh, the headlights. Polaris, you know, had those cool night blade headlights with the orange uh, accents inside it. That was a heavy headlight setup. Um, so they've gone to a lightweight LED headlight, fits in the same uh, mounting location so it is actual actually retrogradable back to previous models if you want to take some weight out but still have a factory headlight so this lightweight led uh, headlight is in all rmks the sp included uh, this headlight saves two and a half pounds so that's a that's a pretty good chunk of weight that's high up and over the nose uh, the seat again saves a pound the headlight saves two and a half pounds so there's three and a half pounds so the next weight reduction comes from a new lightweight steel drive shaft with dual extrovert drivers. Um, this new drive shaft uh, is about a pound lighter, and the benefit of this pound is it's it's in rotating mass. So new drive shaft, uh, better driver system that the the dual extroverts came out on model year 24, uh, and it's it's a better it's a more positive drive system. Uh, but now you've got a lightweight drive shaft along with that. Um, now moving back to the rear suspension, there there is a new running board. It's a new lightweight running board with improved clean out. This is again just on the 9R and Patriot Boost models, so just your snow check models. The running board, uh, so that the inside edge of the platform of the running board has been tapered so it's like a 45 degree angle so it creates uh, a ramp against the vertical side of the tunnel for snow and ice to just kind of fall off and fall down through the openings in the footbed the footbed openings are larger and the cross bars are spread apart a little more 
Uh, and this this new lightweight running board with uh, with better clean out uh, re- results in. I, I, they didn't really tell us exactly how much the running board is, but the running board combined with uh, the serviceable lightweight suspension pads on the rear end. That's a, the lightweight uh, running boards plus the new suspension pads, which, which are the, the mounts inside the tunnel, the, the suspension mount brackets that, that mount to the tunnel and to the rear of the running board support. So those two together are two and a half uh, pounds. So you've got a pound off the seat, two and a half pounds off the headlight, a pound off the drive shaft, two and a half pounds off the running boards and the suspension pads. And those new suspension pads are serviceable, meaning they can be replaced independent of the tunnel and uh, the running boards. Uh, so those are the uh, those are the big changes as far as weight reduction. That's where they got the seven pounds out of the RMK. Uh, now let's jump over to the uh, the RMK SP. So we hit on this a little bit earlier. So this is the new base model RMK. Uh, this will be available in dealerships in season. Uh, but this is the longer tunnel, full, uh, full snow flap. So if you're if you're just looking for a, a deep snow capable machine that is easy to ride, uh, you don't need all the bells and whistles. You're not Brett Turcott. You're not going to go flip this thing upside down off a pile of rocks like uh, Caleb Sturkey. This is a great sled. We've spent a lot of time on this machine. It's very compliant, very easy to ride. Uh, this features. Uh, IFP internal floating piston shocks, just Polaris IFP shocks. Uh, you can get this RMK SP with the 650 twin or the 850 twin, and uh, it does have Quick Drive 2, which is the new uh, the newest version of Quick Drive. So it's a belt drive system, and uh, this comes with just the Series 8 two and three quarter inch 155 track. So the 275 Series 8 155 track. The only track configuration you can get. So basically, this is a very simplified. It's easy for dealerships. Uh, there's two color options, black and kind of a black-beige combo. Uh, and you can get this in electric start or just pull start. Uh, the SP does have the standard RMK seat, so it does not have the new lightweight inch lower seat. Uh, the SP does have the new throttle system. Again, that's across all RMKs, so... New throttle system, it does have the lightweight LED headlights. It does have the lightweight steel drive shaft with external dual extrovert drivers. Uh, sorry, not external, dual extrovert drivers. Uh, rear suspension has the Polaris IFP shocks as well. And again, the, the RMK SB has the full length tunnel, the longer cooling system, the snow flap. So this is basically a mountain sled that can be taken down a trail uh, without worrying about anything to do with overheating it's got the maximum cooling capacity uh, and everything there so let's uh let's dive in now to some of the changes that they addressed going into 2025 so one of these things is uh the rail caps so if you remember in 2023 the rear suspension on the rmks had uh, the slide rail had a rail cap on it and it had an anti-stab kit which is uh, anti-stab system which is basically a a shaft at the tip of the slide rails between the tip of the slide rails that has two small idler wheels on it. And those idler wheels uh, are designed to just keep the track from wrapping around the drive shaft and and ease that transition onto the slide rails. Uh, The the rail cap and the anti-stab system were one system back in 2023. So if if your anti-stab broke, you had to, it was part of the rail cap system. You had to disassemble everything. If your rail cap broke, again, you have to take apart the whole thing. You have to take apart the, the anti stab shaft. And, you know, your limiter strap is mounted to that anti stab system. So it, it's a complicated process. 2024, so last year, what they did was they went away with rail caps. So now you have a rail with high fax on it, and uh, they got rid of rail caps, and you still had the anti stab system on it. And in all of the testing that they did ahead of that, uh, that seemed to work. And it, it, it eliminated um, a couple parts. It eliminated the rail caps. And uh, so now you're just wearing out the high fax pieces. And uh, that didn't prove to be the best system out there for deep snow and for all snow conditions and for all types of riders and riding. 
For 2025, what they've done is they've come back to a rail cap system with a anti-stab system, but they're independent. So if you if you damage a rail cap, you can just replace the rail cap without having to take the shaft apart, without having to mess with your limiter strap and your idler wheels and all that. If you damage the anti-stab system, same thing. It's it's independent of the rail caps. The new rail cap system for 2025 is backwards compatible down to 2024 models. So if you want to uh, if you want to take your 24 and, and add that to it, you can. Other improvements that Polaris has done for 2025. There's there's a few things tucked in here that uh, are are going to be bigger news than most people anticipated. The uh, the first thing is under the powertrain improvement ca category. There's an improvement, uh, a few improvements to the P22 clutch. Um, the P22 clutch found on the Patriot Boost and 9R models. Uh, there's a new there's a forged spider. Uh, for increased durability, there's a new cover, clutch cover, uh, for increased durability, and a new clutch bolt on the P22. Um, this is a, the, the new clutch bolt it has, has a little bit different thread design, um, and not I'm not exactly sure everything that they've changed on that clutch bolt aside from that, but it is a new clutch bolt. Uh, we did ask if if the, like, like the 9R, is still going to come with a, a tag that says, retorque after your first ride, retorque the primary clutch bolt. They said yes, that, that is still the plan that, to do that, but but the new clutch bolt uh, definitely does improve durability. So look for those three improvements across the 2025s uh, on the P22. Again, forged spider, improved clutch cover, and a new clutch bolt. Uh, dropping down to the 650 and the 850s, uh, those two engines have a new piston. Uh, piston is designed for improved durability and better heat transfer. Uh, the 850 Twin, the 850 Patriot oiling system has uh, increased low RPM oiling for improved durability. Uh, Patriot Boost engines, there's a new Boost Ox injector harness. So for the Ox fuel injector, there's a new harness on there, a new wiring harness. Uh, it's a new design uh, and it's, it's, it's better material for improved durability and performance. Uh, the Boost Turbo Seal on the Patriot Boost. It's also a new, there's a new sealing process and a new seal that's improved on that uh, to, to make the, the Patriot Boost perform better and be more durable. Uh, new spark plugs, again, they're specking B, BRP, uh, sorry, BPR80S NGK, NGK spark plugs uh, for more consistent performance. Now, one thing on these spark plugs that's interesting to note, you want to get the Polaris factory spec spark plug if you're going to switch from the from the BPR90S down to the new BPR8ES uh, because the tip on the spark plug is is fixed on the Polaris spec. Um, if you just go grab a, an NGK spark plug off the shelf that is BPR80S, it might have a threaded on cap, and you, you don't want that because uh, those, those can vibrate loose and then uh, you have inconsistent connection there uh, one more thing on powertrain updates uh, pto rear engine mount so on the pto side of the clutch the clutch or the, of the engine the clutch side of the engine the rear engine mount has been improved to a two bolt rear mount bracket so it's just a it's a it's a stronger more durable uh, engine mount uh, moving to the chassis there's a new starter and bendix so uh, better improve, you know, improved starting reliability and performance. This, uh, this along with a recoil rope guide. Uh, there's a, the recoil rope guide helps improve uh, wear resistance on the starter rope. So a couple improvements there for starting. We did notice on the 2025s that uh, you know typically we you know, we've kind of always joked around that the Polaris is a two start is a two pole start. Um, so as easy as that sled might be. Uh, to start, it, it's usually is going to take two poles to start it. The 2025s did much better at starting on the first pole. So these, these little changes here have definitely improved that. Uh, dual extrovert drivers now standard on the 9R and boost switchbacks, switchback assault. Um, and I guess that's that's the other new thing out there is the, the 9R engine package is available in the switchback assault and the Indy X, XCR. Uh couple other little things here, the oil bottle, there's a new mesh in the oil bottle screen uh, to help reduce air bubbles within the, the oils and, or in the oil jug and in the oil line. 
uh, new rail caps, we covered that, um, and the improvements to the starter system. Uh, talking about the 7S display, uh, if any of you had that five position switch pop off, uh, you know, you hit it too hard with your glove, you're brushing snow off, uh, and you just take that switch off with you, that's been fixed. Uh, it's a new five way switch that uh, will not pop off like that. 7S, they've uh, they brought back Wi-Fi connectivity, so uh, they pulled that out in 2022, removed that. Uh, it's back, so now you can easily update and transfer data from the app uh, to your 7S display. Uh, a few more quality improvements. Uh, the fuel rating is a little more consistent. Uh, it, you might might have noticed if you're you're on a slope of any kind, if you're pointed downhill or uphill, that that 7S display will read a very low fuel reading. Uh, that's been improved. Uh, any issues with maps crashing, that's been worked on and improved. Uh, let's see, and coming for 2025, they've got a couple new features coming to Ride Command. One of these is open ride areas. So they're going to show you over 6 million acres of open riding areas in the U.S. and Canada. That'll be a feature embedded into the maps. And then a new feature, there's going to be some interesting feedback on this one. It's called Heat Mapping. And basically, you can roll into a new riding area and look on your map, and you can see where other riders have tracked their rides recently. Um, basically, so that you you know where to go within these open riding areas, you can kind of gauge where other people have been. Quite a few updates crossed the line there for the 7S display. Uh, we touched on the uh, 9R Patriot being available now in the 2025 Indy XCR and in the Indy VR1, uh, as well as Patriot uh, 9R available in the Switchback Assault models. Uh, there's a new there's a new suspension system. If you're if you're into trail sleds, uh, there's a new suspension system called Dynamics. This is something that has been out on Polaris Razors in years past. So this is a basically a fully computerized suspension system that uh, monitors what the suspension is doing, the speed of the vehicle, uh, and really changes the ride quality and the suspension damping and all that. Uh, there's, an, there's an IMU brain uh, in, in Dynamics uh, that senses what the vehicle is actually doing, chassis roll, pitch, yaw. Uh, speed, track speed, just everything, uh, shock position, uh, and then alters in, you know, as fast as computers can do it, which is faster than anything we could possibly think of to do, alters the suspension, the shock compression and positioning to react. Like as you're hitting a bump, um, it, it can change the compression on that shock on that outside shock to stiffen it up for the last little bit of the stroke to prevent you bottoming out and basically try to keep the platform of the uh, snowmobile more level uh on razors it's incredible hey, if you've ridden a razor with dynamics on it it's it's pretty dang cool so that technology is finally trickling down into the snowmobile segment but again that's just on the uh the indy vr1 137 um probably not something you're going to see in mountain sleds uh, that would add that would add more weight to what we're already trying to get shaved off there. Uh, let's jump over to Timber Sled real quick. So Timber Sled also got uh, got slimmed down as far as product offerings. They got rid of the Arrow. There's no more uh, Arrow lineup in the uh, in the 2025 Timber Sled models. There's just the Riot. So you can get the Riot 3 Pro or the Riot 3 S Pro. The S is the lower seat height system. Uh, it's about three inches lower. Um, basically what happened is that everybody, would, everybody thought the riot was a more playful ride and it could easily be turned into an arrow by, by putting a limiter strap on it. So by slimming this down to one product offering, just offering the riot, uh, most people can put a, a limiter strap on it for the majority of deep snow, midwinter riding conditions, and then pull the limiter strap off once that snow sets up and then you're right back to the riot performance of the riot. So you've got the Riot 3 Pro, the Riot 3S Pro as Snowcheck exclusive, then a Riot 3 Pro, Riot 3S Pro, Riot 3 Premium, Riot 120 Premium, and the the Ripper for the 110cc bikes as in-season offerings. 
Uh, let's see, a couple other things here. Let's see, we talked about dynamics. There's some new uh, mountain accessories, hard storage bags, uh, partnership with Pro Armor Snow and Next Level. Uh, offering some really cool new uh, rear tunnel bags, uh, if you're into tunnel bags. Um, there's a small, Next Level small storage box and a medium storage box, and you can run those independently or you can run them together uh, for maximum tunnel storage there. Uh, okay, let me see if I've, we got anything else we haven't talked about. Uh, headlights, drive shaft. Uh, if you go to snowice.com and check out the uh, the features section on the website, you'll be able to see uh, the, you know the latest posting on all of the new updates. There's there's photos of the new throttle system, uh, photos of the new drive shaft, running boards, headlight seat, um, rail caps. You can check out the uh, the new RMK SP, uh, the new 7S display, and some of those features. And a little more, a little more info there. Nothing, nothing that we didn't cover here today. Uh, but yeah, so focus for 2025 on Polaris was uh, man to make these things lighter, and it's 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 a welcome uh, it's a welcome focus in mountain riding. Uh, Nels, who's on the engineering team with Polaris was talking about there's a saying that they have internally and that saying goes everything gets better when it's lighter and we couldn't agree more with that we wish uh we wish we could kind of get everything else in the west in the mountain riding on a little bit of a diet plan and get some more weight off uh but you know another seven pounds off is is pretty welcome to see it's interesting though too when you talk about weight uh you know the lightest rmk obviously is going to be a pro rmk uh, 155, 275 track with uh, bare aluminum tunnel, bare aluminum rails, bare aluminum spindles, um, and the not the 7S display. It's going to be the small gauge pod. So in reality, uh, very few people are riding that configuration. So everybody's riding a little bit more weight than than what the, the lightest weight Pro RMK uh, weight spec is that's out there. But still, the same goes for everybody else. You know, once once you start adding weight in, in gauges and batteries and painted tunnels to, you know, Polaris brand, you're also adding that. People are also adding that to other brands and making those those heavier than than the lightest weight that's measured goes. Uh, so go to snowwest.com, check out this feature. Uh, we're gonna have a couple more podcasts coming up real quick uh, with with the Snowwest test staff. We're going to do some review pods. We're going to talk about uh, riding the 2025 Polaris 9R, RMK, uh, probably the Chaos and the Pro. Uh, we'll get into the Patriot Boost, Chaos and Pro RMKs. And we're going to talk about uh, the RMK SP because we did spend a lot of time on that as just an absolute base model. And that is a really good machine, like surprisingly good machine um, for anybody out there just looking for you know low-cost entry into the mountain segment or or just a, a secondary sled that doesn't have to go be, again, the Caleb Kosturki or Chris Brandt do-it-all model. Uh, so check those out. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, help us, help us keep this thing going, and we'll keep doing more sled reviews for you. Uh, thanks again for listening, and we'll catch you next pod.